first idea I have is literal rocks. So I don't know if this is as big in your area as it is in ours, but really, relatively recently, I'd say within the past few months, the rock movement has taken off. Painting rocks and leaving them out in public places for people to find, to trade, to post to Facebook. There's a Palm Harbor uh, rocks page, and there's probably one for your area as well. Um, so. Thanks to the NP Sims library, I found this idea on their uh, through their Facebook page. It was really cool, I thought, was to paint rocks with some literary characters. And then from there, hide these, and when the kids find them, instead of saying Palm Harbor Rocks on the back, they say, please return to Palm Harbor Library. This is great to get the kids in who might not normally visit the library. They, oh, I have to, I have to go to the library to return this, you know? So then they come in and then they can find maybe the corresponding book that goes with it. Like this one here is Geronimo Stilton. If they, if they need help finding the corresponding book, they can ask us because they'll bring the rocks to us, of course. And then that's a good way to kind of introduce them to the collection. Um, this, of course, is from Smile, if you don't know, and then uh, Dr. Seuss one. But pretty much, um, like if they come in and, for instance, they're too young for Smile or something, you can always find either something comparable or you can have a little basket of rocks for younger kids or however you guys want to handle that. But let's say um, you're like, oh my gosh, I do not want to paint. <laughs> I do not want to paint small. Um, keep in mind, uh, this is something that you can always have a teen group do, volunteers, anyone who enjoys the rock painting. I mean, all you probably have to do is find your Palm Harbor Rocks page and then put a shout out. Um, but really, I used the paint pens on these and they were pretty easy to do. Like, you don't have to go too crazy, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, um, so if you really don't want to go ahead and, you know, paint them yourselves, you can always easily Mod Podge. So this is from a bad case of stripes. I just literally printed out this picture on regular paper, I cut it out, and then I Mod Podged it on on the front and on the bottom. Mod Podge acts like glue. And then you can always like spray it with like an acrylic outdoor grade kind of acrylic sealer, and then it'll definitely hold up to the elements. So just another idea.